<laughs> My name is Matheus Machado. I am 22 year old. Uh, I'm from Brazil. Uh, currently playing for Montrose. Ah, it's a long one, it's a long one. Well, dad and mom always want to move away to give me and my brother a better opportunity in life, education, more safety and all those kind of things. Uh, and then my dad got a job over in Inverness and then he came over first. And then me, mom and brother uh, came after six months. And we stayed in Inverness for four years. Uh, when we first got there, after a few months, I signed for Inverness. That's when I started my football career in Scotland. Stayed there for two years, and then I moved abroad to Portugal. Stayed there for a year, playing football as well. Came back, signed for Elgin, stayed there for a year. Uh, left to Rothes, stayed there for six months. And while I was with Rothes, I was uh, training with Montrose already, because uh, we moved to our brof. And then finally, in January, I got the chance to sign with Montreal. Uh, I'm from originally from São Paulo. Okay. And when is it, what, how old were you when you moved over here? Uh, I was 17, 16 to 17. So what was life? What was life like as a teenager in São Paulo? Uh, I really enjoyed it, to be honest. Like as a teenager, it was good. I mean, going to school and I mean, it was a big city, so loads of things to do of all the different kinds you want. Uh, all the family was there, so it was good. I really enjoyed it. And compared to Scotland, how, how have you found Scotland over the time you've been here? What's the difference? I was a bit a bit nervous before coming here, to be honest, because I had I like not really much idea of what Scotland was. Uh, but then when we came over, it was a good surprise, to be honest. I loved it. I love the place. The people, they are very like, they were very welcoming to me, my family and everyone. So I really enjoy it. The big difference is the weather, of course. But... Uh, <laughs> Something that I got used to over the time. <laughs> I started playing when I was nine, but normally used to play like futsal, so like mm -hmm. the indoor. And then I started playing like actual football when I was 12 to 13, mm -hmm. when I signed for Palmeiras. And then when I was 12, 13, we used to train every day already. Uh, so played under 13s and then under 15s with them. And then I went to Red Bull Brazil, which is the same company as Leipzig and Salzburg, mm -hmm. but based in Brazil. We played there for two years as well, under 15, 16, and then I left on 17. That's when we moved uh, to Scotland. Of course, when I came over first, like I didn't know much English, mm -hmm. but like with all the education that I got from the youth, I could understand what the exercises was and that. So it was good. It was good for the development. In terms of just adjusting, how I mean, your English is really like really really good. I mean, what advice would you give to other footballers like yourself who have come across? Brand new culture, brand new language. My English is all right now. But, <laughs> uh, I would just say just go for it and just try to learn the culture. I mean, you have to adapt yourself. You can't just be like you were back home because everything changes. So you just have to adapt yourself and respect and then you're going to feel part of it. In terms of adapting the different styles of football, what's, what, what is, the, is there a difference like from Brazil to Scotland to Portugal? Yeah, there is a difference on football, yeah. I mean... Like if you go back home, like I, I would say the football here is more, it's, it's faster, it's more like straightforward, whether back home, maybe you're going to have more space on the ball. Uh, there's going to be different styles of play, uh, maybe because of the weather as well. It's like it's, it makes the game different. Uh, then here is more straightforward, more channel balls, crosses in the box, like it's straight to it. But then again, like when you change, country or you have to adapt yourself you know what i mean of course you're not gonna leave all your qualities from the past but you have to gain new like knowledge on the game uh when i was 13 and then 15 17 i used to play center med like number eight box to box well when i was younger i used to play winger as well that's why i play right now mm -hmm. and then since i moved to scotland under 18s i played a few games center mid as well but then after just left or right wing really more forward I, f I think there is loads of good, good teams and good players. I think it's a, it's a good standard, to be honest. Uh, you can learn a lot from more experienced players as well. And then the youngsters, they bring a lot of energy. I really enjoy it. I think it's, it's very good. Uh, I really like Ronaldo, uh, the phenomenon, to be honest. I really like, I always watched him and he played for Corinthians as well in Brazil, which is my team. So I used to watch him from close and I always enjoyed it. 
uh, and Messi is just but I think he just got given the like the qualities and everything and he just puts it in play and Cristiano Ronaldo as well he just works hard for everything and then he just goes and get it so I think those players are I detect the theme of hard work that, key to success yeah hard work definitely is a big factor in success definitely definitely one of the biggest I would say uh, but yeah, I mean, if you just have quality and you don't work hard, you're not gonna make it. I mean, some players make it because it just it happens. But if you see in the overall, the hard work can like be better than just the quality itself. And then when you put both together, then that's <laughs> works out better. When the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like playing golf. I mean, I'm not good. But <laughs> I like just playing with my dad, I just get my, my mind out of everything, I just can enjoy myself. Uh, I like spending time with my family, just watching TV series or movies or going to the cinema. Uh, just those kind of things really chilled, to be honest. Uh, it really it depends, to be honest. Uh, recently we've been watching uh, reality shows, which is like survival is called. So it's basically like teams that go on islands and they have to do crazy challenges and team against each other. So you just like to pass the time and it's something that you don't have really to pay much attention, but you still understand what's going on and it's interesting, I think. Make music. What's on your playlist right now? <sighs> to be honest, my playlist, oh, man, I've got everything in there. I've got, I've got pop, I've got hip hop, I've got samba from Brazil, I've got rock i've got everything it's just a mixture i mean i like if the music sounds good to me it doesn't matter the genre then i'm just gonna listen to it go with it take uh, to be honest i would like to go to brazil for a holiday no it's living there because i haven't been back since i moved here and uh, i really like greece to be honest uh food is amazing and it's not too expensive you can really enjoy it's a, an amazing place um where else? I like London, to be honest. It's more like back home. It's a big city with loads of things to do. I don't know, maybe living there would be a chaos, but going for a few days is always nice. Um, my first place on holiday in Europe was Belgium. So that really marked me. I haven't been there again, but I, I would like to. And to be honest, I really love America. I've been to Orlando, Miami, and my most recent was Los Angeles, and I'll definitely go back. But it's nice taste, the, the glamour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Bruni, Craig is really funny, to be fair. He, he gets everyone a laugh. The team's DJ. DJ. Bruni is the DJ as well. He gets the music going before games, on training and everything. <laughs> Movie star, TV star, who would Movie be that? Movie star, TV star. Probably Blair. I think he's got something about him, eh? To be that, that guy. <laughs> Entrepreneur, who's got the next big idea? Big idea? Mm, that's a hard one. Probably Winks, I think. Winks looks like a smart guy. He can go further with the ideas and that. Who would be the team's wise man, as in who would you, would go, who would you go to for advice? Sean. Sean Dillon. The, the next manager of a Scottish League football team. Next manager of our squad. Uh, Andy. I think Andy loves the game. Uh, so, probably Andy. <laughs> and just last of all, what message would you like to give to the Montrose fans? Just thank you very much for all the support you've been giving me and the team and keep doing my best and working hard.